Now then all, how are you doing? It's Andy Cunningham from Gentry Trialist. You find me in a winter wheat field on the east of Yorkshire on the 22nd of April. And <clears throat> today I'm going to talk you through a trial that I'm doing against ryegrass, not the stubborn kind that you'll find over at Doncaster, but more of a susceptible kind. It was a, a grass laid before this crop of winter wheat, so it should be susceptible to our contact herbicides that I'll be applying to this area. Now, the issue that we have is when do you apply them contact herbicides? Do you apply them now while the grass is relatively susceptible, relatively small, but what you'll find is because it, it's relatively cold, hence the coat, uh, and also extremely dry, the ryegrass is quite stressed, so it's not actively growing. So it's not going to take up that contact herbicide as much as it would have been if it was warm and moist. Now, the other issue that we have is the range of growth stages that we've got of the ryegrass here. You can see that we've got a really good pressure of ryegrass, but it's that difference in growth stages that we'll have. And you can, and you can see from this plant here, which has obviously got five tillers on it and established and extending, to this one where it's one to two leaf. And uh, inevitably what's gonna happen is if we do get a bit of rain, fingers crossed we do, because we all need it, we're gonna get another flush of ryegrass. Now, if we apply our contact herbicide now, we're gonna miss that flush. But if we wait, we're gonna have an issue with this being even more hardy and this plant more hardy than it is now. So whether or not our contact herbicides are gonna work as well as they should do. So I'm going to be doing different timings on when we apply our contact herbicides. And another uh, aspect to this trial is biostimulants. Now, for those of you who've seen my previous videos, I'm all about biostimulants. And it's not all about the crop. It's also about can we get the pest actively growing with the use of biostimulants. So maybe if we apply it today and then seven days later we apply a herbicide, get that ryegrass plant actively growing so it takes up that herbicide more efficiently, killing it more efficiently also. We could also mix a biostimulant in with our herbicide and hopefully it'll do the same job. And that's what I'm hoping to prove here. So I'll update you throughout this trial, uh, throughout the season, as and when something of interest comes up, I'll let you know. But in the meantime, thanks for watching.